Welcome to Sickbackers YouTube channel. I'm Steve and back here on the lift we got the 2015 Softail and yes I got it covered up for a reason because we got a big reveal today. Now if this is your first time watching our channel on this build we bought this 2015 Heritage pretty well bone stock and we've spent the last couple of years converting it over to this uh, image I had in my head of how I want this bike to look and today we got the big reveal if you've been watching our past few videos I've kind of been leading up to this to stay tuned for this video. Now after I uncover this bike today we will be going over to the table because I've got a few parts over there, a few finishing touches that I want to add to the bike. And we'll get those installed today. All this stuff over there is very easy to put on the bike, but it's going to be those little finishing touches to just top off this build. Now there's only been two or three people that have actually seen this and absolutely loved it. I had to have had it for a little while, but I had to get, you know, a few other people to see it and get their kind of, I guess, approval or non-approval of the uh, big change that I did on the bike. So without further ado, let's get over here and get this thing uncovered. So that is the new paint set for the 2015 Heritage. Now the base color on this bike is actually a Harley Touring color. This is going to be the Hard Candy Hot Rod Red. When I pictured this bike in my head, I wanted a red bike. I knew that. I didn't want red red, like red line red, like just blatantly red. I wanted kind of a toned down red, a little bit darker, but heavy on the flake. And the Harley Touring color, that Hard Candy Hot Rod Red, was perfect, I think, for that. And then we wanted the uh, super thick white pinstripe on it, and, and of course, a little bit of flourishes here and there. So I initially wanted to do a video on the conversion itself, um, but the front fender is actually just four bolts. You really can't mess that up. I already actually have a rear fender video on this. Now these are stretched front and rear fenders, but this is an OEM gas tank. So I still have the Amber Whiskey Charcoal Pearl Tin set that I had on this with the stretch fenders and a tank. So when we got this in I had to get the tank over to the table and take everything out of the old tank and put into the new tank because we bought a tank on eBay so the painter would have all three tins and could do the bike all at once and then put it on there and when we were doing the tank everything went really smooth it's really not hard to transfer the stuff over out of these tanks you're just kind of stuck working in a square about this big and trying to get your hands in there but once you take the bolts out of the top and pull it up you can reach in there with a pair of needle nose and unplug stuff and it comes up a little farther unplug the drainage hose comes up a little farther and then you can start to take stuff out one of the last things that you want to unplug is this little guy right here this is your check valve this goes right here this goes up in the tank and goes over to the fuel pump kind of like this now this is kind of a rubbery plastic line. The problem with that is it sets in gas. Now this is just a 2015, so it hasn't even set in gas that long. But you gotta get that top part pulled up, get to the fuel pump, push the little connectors in and disconnect this and then actually pull this whole system out through the bottom of the tank right here. So what happened is I was pulling it up. It was so brittle that this piece down here broke. Now this is an aftermarket one that I purchased and we put it on the bike. We poured a little fuel in here to get it fired up. We got everything primed and as soon as I hit about the third or fourth prime on there, this check valve started pouring fuel all down the side of the engine here. So I took a trip up to Harley Davidson yesterday and I picked up a Harley one. These are the same ones that go on the touring models as well. And I don't know what happened with this one. Like I said, it is an aftermarket one, um, but it does have a rubber O-ring inside of it. This O-ring up here wasn't leaking. It was directly linking right out of the check valve itself. So I'm not quite sure what was going on with it, but this is garbage. Purchased the Harley Davidson for around 60 bucks, put it in, leak stopped. Everything was fine, got the bike fired up which at the end of this video today, I promised on the last Basani video because we didn't have the tank and stuff on there, I couldn't fire up the bike. But today we will get it outside, we will get it fired up so you can listen to how those Basani sound. So like I said over here on the table, we got a few smaller just kind of finishing pieces that we want to get on the bike today. So now we already have the JH Choppers longboards, the brake pedal, and the 
shifter pegs over on the other side. Now this is the OE design from Jay's Choppers. If you want to get your hands on a set of these, like I said, we do have a video already on these and I'll put the links down in the description to everything that's on this build. And today we've got some matching parts to go on this. We've got the rear master cylinder cover, as you can see here, it matches the OE style. We got the points cover to go on here, once again, matching. Then of course we have the brake reservoir covers right here that we're going to be putting up there. And then we have one other thing from Jay's Choppers. It's going to go on the other side of the bike. It's just going to kind of complete the sick bagger style build. We're just going to get our wrenches out real quick, get these little covers on. We'll give that a look at, and then we'll move on to the next piece. got the pegs lined out we've got one last thing to put on here from jay's choppers and every one of the bikes that we build in here gets one of these and they're all custom made from him we got our chrome derby cover here from jay's choppers with our sick bagger laser engraved into it Now that we've changed the color of the bike, we need to change the color of the spark plugs. So what I've done now, those are Screaming Eagle fat plugs from Harley Davidson and I've got a whole install video on those and it, it goes into depth on fat plugs and what the difference is between a normal plug and a fat plug and all that good jazz, right? So we're not gonna cover all that stuff today. That one actually shows you how to check your spark plugs. So if you wanna check out that video, once again, link will be down in the description down below. Now we've used these spark plug wires in the past. You can get on the eBay store. Um, I don't know if he has a website or not. I always just get him from eBay. He's been around for a long time. He's a top seller on there and he pre-makes these for you or he already has them made up. Like for instance, on these, I got them pretty quick. Now. We got the red and the white because I wasn't sure what we were gonna do. Um, but uh, after coming out here the other day, after I got them in, we put the red up there and the reds, it's okay, but it's a little too red for the red on the bike. So I'm actually glad that I got the white ones. So we're gonna go with the white ones on this bike. Simple, easy change out. We're gonna do that real quick. So now we got the fat plugs back on here. We got the white ones. Nice, clean look for this build. Like I said, get on eBay, tons of performance. I'll put a link down in the description. And this dude has all different colors, all different links, all different bikes, cars. He can custom make the links for you and you can add your own boots to the end. So lots of options over there. So make sure to check out tons of performance if you want to get this. So now we got our bed roll on and there's one final last little detail that I want to do to the bike uh, before we get it outside. Over the last couple of years, all of our builds have started to accumulate the same thing. And just like the Derby cover, we get a crown gas cap. And we're going to top it off with the crown. Now, finally, let's get this thing outside. Let's walk around and see what it looks like. Fire it up and listen to those Bassanis. <laughs>
so that's pretty much it for today. We do have a few more pieces over there that we're going to be putting on this bike, but we're going to save that for another video. I just had all of these little bitty final touches that I wanted to do to the bike, and then of course, revealing the new paint scheme on the bike. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you think about the new paint job compared to the old one. If you haven't seen the old one, go back and check out the other videos. But it's that much closer to being done now that we've got the new paint set on it and the little chrome pieces from JH Choppers, the white spark plug wires from Tons Performance, and then of course our bed roll up on the top. And I don't really remember the brand of the bed roll because we bought that thing at Sturgis in one of those tents. And I knew I had a red and black and white paint set coming, so I just went ahead and got it and hoped for the best. And it actually worked out really well. And finally, you got to hear what the Bassani uh, fishtails sound like. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get myself cleaned up. I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, as always, be safe. Keep your knees in the breeze. Hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out our videos today. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button, hit the little subscribe button popping up over here. If you wanna check out more of our content, I've got two videos right here that'll get you started. Not really gonna say anything else, just click one of those videos and take you to another video.